How's it going? This is Omar Richards, your trusted San Diego real estate agent, back again with another property tour. Today, we're in the beautiful, quaint beach town of Solana Beach. And if you're not familiar with Solana Beach, Solana Beach is just north of Del Mar and just south of Encinitas, uh, right here in a little pocket in between those two beach towns. So a really viable option if you're looking along the coast here in San Diego. Again, I'd specialize here along the coast from PB all the way up to Oceanside. So if you have any questions on buying, selling, or investing in property here in those areas or anywhere in San Diego for that matter, feel free to reach out. My information is in the description. Today we are at 210 Estrella Street, about a five minute walk from the beach here at Solana Beach and about a five minute walk from Fletcher Cove, a really nice beach here in Solana Beach. This property is a three bed, two and a half bath, a little bit over 2,000 square feet and built in 1981. But don't worry, we have plenty of renovations in here, so it's pretty much ready to be moved into. Uh, we're also on a 5,500 square foot lot with a three car garage, which is pretty rare for being this close to the beach. Uh, excited to be able to show you guys this property. If you guys have any questions or would like to see any other areas here in San Diego, feel free to leave some comments, questions, concerns, and I'll get back to you guys. Let's go ahead and jump in and check this property out. So here in front of 210 Estrella Street, we have a three bed, two and a half bath, a little bit over 2,000 square feet, uh, 2013 and built in 1981. We're right here on the corner of Estrella Street and North Acacia Avenue, which is one block west of Highway 101, which we're looking at right there. Now we are facing to the west uh, and we're about five minute walk to the beach, 10 minute walk to the sand absolutely beautiful location here in Solana Beach 92075. If you're not familiar with this area, Solana Beach is a bit smaller than the rest of the beach communities here in San Diego. We have about a population of 15,000 people, 1.7 miles of coastline. So a bit smaller again than the rest of the communities here and a bit more of a smaller beach town vibe. We're here about five minutes from uh, Fletcher Cove, which is a famous beach here in the area. And a crazy fact about Fletcher Cove that I uh, was made aware about recently was uh, in 2008, a 66-year-old man was actually fatally injured by a great white shark while swimming near Fletcher Cove. So uh, just a crazy fact that I didn't know about, but Fletcher Cove is an absolutely beautiful beach. Um, again, an unfortunate event that happened, an extremely rare event that happened, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, here we're taking a look to the west here is the neighbor's property, absolutely beautiful property. The neighbors take great care of the home on that side. And then again, we have a 5,500 square foot lot here. So good lot size, uh, nice little shower area here on the south side of the property where you can come in after a long day at the beach, wash uh, your surfboards off, wash your feet off. So again, so super convenient little detail in the property. Going through here to the, uh, to the kitchen right here to the left, uh, kitchen is a bit smaller uh, than my liking and the dining room is a little bit smaller than my liking as well taking a look here uh, to the north side and we do have some skylights there in the living room give it a nice natural lighting and uh, the owner of the property is actually an entrepreneur he's in the restaurant business and owns some businesses here in solana beach and uh, selling the, uh, one of his businesses, so he's selling this property. It's been on the market for eight days and it's listed at $2.995 million. Again, Solana Beach is a uh, pretty, it's one of the more expensive coastal beach towns here in San Diego. Uh, the only ones that are more expensive than Solana Beach is La Jolla and Del Mar. And then uh, next is Solana Beach 92075. The median sales price here is at $3.5 million, which is a 32% increase from this this uh, this year, this last year, this same time, which was uh, last year was $2.6 million at this same time last year in June. So a 32% increase in median sales price. Uh, we also have a 83% increase in days on market until sold. Uh, we're at 57 days now. So inventory sitting a little bit longer, uh, but it is more expensive. Um, and we have about 4.3 months supply of inventory here in Solana Beach. I love the layout of this property. We have uh, the master on 
the west wing the west side of the property which we're looking towards and then the guest bedrooms on the east side and it's a single story so great property if you you know for someone older that doesn't want to walk up and down stairs that might be looking to downsize this is a viable a great option for someone like that we're taking a look at the master suite here on the west side of the property beautiful um just beautiful layout here we have a fireplace right here to the right sliding glass door straight out to the backyard and the jacuzzi and then we have the master bath area here do have some uh opportunity to update uh the bathroom not this part of the bathroom but where the sinks are at uh this bathroom was redone i believe in 2019. Uh, but that those countertops where those sinks are at are a bit outdated i'd probably replace those if i was buying this property and then uh, there goes that small fireplace take a look taking a look at the at the backyard facing to the north here got a nice jacuzzi area here that you can enjoy And uh, inventory here in Solana Beach is a, a bit slim. Uh, right now we have 18 properties for sale. Uh, we have another eight units pending and I believe 25 properties have sold since January 1st. So um, it is a little bit slower here in Solana Beach. There's a bit less inventory. So if you're looking to uh, purchase here in Solana Beach, it, you're, you might need to have a little bit more patience. Uh, there's not the turnover is not as fast uh, here in Solana Beach as it is in other beach towns like La Jolla, Pacific Beach. Um, so you may, you know, be looking for a little bit longer than if you were searching in those areas. Here we have our laundry room and a really nice selling point of this property is the three car garage, which is very rare for being this close to the beach. Massive garage space. Every buyer that walked into the open house uh, just loved the garage. Again, when you're looking for a, a three car garage, you know, a block from the beach, it's very hard to find. So um, very, very good part of this property is that three car garage. And then we have the rest of uh, the guest bedrooms on this side of the property. Here's a half bath. And then we have another guest bedroom here. Not too much of a view uh, looking out to the north side, when, uh, north of the property, uh, but it's very quiet here. Um, and just a mile uh, to the east, we have a highway 101 and then about a five, 10 minute walk. We have this uh, Cedros Design District, uh, which is world famous. We have the belly up there and another world famous venue. Um, the Beatles have performed there and a lot of other uh, very famous performers have perform there so you're in a uh you know great solana beach is a great place if you're looking for that beach town vibe there's a lot of people out on saturday and sundays walking uh to this the cedros design district walking around to the beach fletcher's cove uh it's a very lively atmosphere here in solana beach on any given saturday and sunday So wrapping it up here, I mean, we're taking a look here to the east. We're on looking at North Acacia Avenue right here. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see any other coastal communities here in San Diego, like Del Mar, La Jolla, Pacific Beach, any other coastal cities, <clears throat> just leave comments. Um, I'll be happy to do tours in any cities that you guys or any beach town that you guys request. If you guys have any questions on buying, selling, or investing anywhere in San Diego, feel free to reach out. Again, my information is in the description.